Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do four Christmas designs. So I'm starting off by using Candy Coat Shade 74 and I'm gonna cure two coats of this. I have then removed the tacky layer and I'm going in with CND Shellac in Cream Puff and I'm just applying a layer over the cured gel and I'm going to leave this wet. So I didn't actually catch this on camera because for some reason my camera decided to turn off at the worst possible point. So what I did was just sprinkled some glitter on top of the wet white gel that I applied and I'm now going in with my dotting tool and I'm just creating these little pore prints. Um, I'm just kind of going in, wiping off any gel that's been left on my dotting tool, going back in and creating the design that I would like until I am happy. Once I'm happy with my design, I am going in and curing for double time just to make sure that the white gel that I applied has fully cured through the glitter. Okay, so on to my next design. I'm using this palette from Primark, which is £2, and the gel pot from the Gel Bottle Ink. And I'm using hollow shards in purple, which are from Glitter Planet. And I'm just going to be making a gel mixture with these shards. Okay, so I'm gonna get a bead of that on my brush and I'm just gonna place it in the middle of the nail and this is going to create my 3D bauble. I'm then going to be using a dotting tool just to make sure that the bauble is nice and round and I can get it to exactly how I want it to look. So once I'm happy with my bauble, I am curing for double time just to make sure that the whole of the 3D bauble is fully cured. I'm now going in with my Magpie Detailer brush and my St Nails Gel in shade 16 from their Diamond Collection and I'm just going to apply some detail around the bauble. Okay, so you could just leave it as this for your finished design, but I have decided to just go around any kind of blank spaces on the nails, just adding in some swirly bits, um, just to make it that little bit more sparkly. I then cured that in my lamp and I just went back round with my detailer brush and applied a shiny top coat just to the detail that I have applied around the bauble just to give it that little bit more extra shine and so it really stands out on that matte nail. Um, I didn't mention before but I have just used two coats of black gel polish and a matte top coat um, before I actually started this design. So on to my third design now, I'm using Mirrored Rose Gold Chrome Powder from Glitterati Nails. I have already cured two layers of black gel polish and applied my non-white top coat which has been cured. So I am just using an eyeshadow applicator to apply this chrome powder on top of the cured non-white top coat. I'm then just using a brush and brushing off any excess dust and I'm going in with my matte top coat now and I'm applying two layers of this, curing in between each one. 
I'm now using my Moyu festive plate um, from their festive collection. I'm using my Queen clear jelly stamper and I am going to be stamping with cream puff from CND Shellac. Um, and I'm using this candy cane stripey um, design to do this. And I'm using my Magpie detail brush to just go over with my gel polish and I'm literally just going to go over with the design. Um, you don't have to use gel polish to stamp with, I could have quite easily just used a white normal polish because I was going over it with gel polish anyway. Um, and when that is still wet I'm applying my glitter from Glitter Planet and I'm just sprinkling that on top and then I'm going to cure it. Once that has been cured I'm just brushing off any excess and as you can see there are some little bits that have just stuck to places that I don't want it to be stuck to so I'm just going in with um, the other end of my cuticle pusher and just lightly taking that off. Onto my final design now, I'm using mirrored pink chrome powder using the same technique as I have with the rose gold and I'm then just applying two coats of my top coat, this time I'm using a shiny one and I have cured in between both layers. I'm then going with my Moyu stamping polish in black and I'm just stamping this beautiful reindeer design on top of this. As you can see the nail's really long so it doesn't cover all of it so I am just going in and stamping again and making sure that the bottom of the nail is also covered. And then I'm going to top coat twice and here is my finished design. So those are all of my designs for Christmas. I thought it would just give you some Christmas ideas and inspiration and I think that these ones are fairly easy and yet really effective. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more of my videos and I will see you in the next one.